How would you feel about your daughter doing sex work? So I would be supportive if my daughter chose to do anything with her life as long as we're not hurting anyone. I did only fans and I am ashamed at the behavior I've done. I thought it was cool, but all these females that you guys look up to in the industry, the, the, the media pushes you, they're all miserable. Girls who are like 17, who literally when they're about to turn 18 are promoting, they're promoting it, being like, hey, my 18th birthday, this is about yeah. to drop, like that's, crazy and kind of disturbing. My mental health since I've started this has just slowly like been on such a decline. Like I feel a little bit dead inside. You see these OnlyFans creators and like in people's Instagram bios they'll be advertising, I'm in the top 1% and I'm like, so you're sucking and fucking for three grand? There are women that try to sign women up just to get a referral Absolutely. from them. Wait, there's a referral program through to it? To sign women. No. Yes. Don't fucking serious? Yes. No. Welcome back to Masculine Academy channel. Today, we've got a special episode. There are more and more women that are doing OnlyFans. More and more women are embracing the work ideology with all of this aspect of promiscuity. But a lot of women also do not want to date the what they call the snowflakes. They want more masculine men. So what will happen when on one side, men are staying away from the work women and at the same time, women want more masculine men. Let's dive in. Do you want to know one of the saddest realizations I recently had was that as a liberal woman, it is really hard to find a man who is willing to play the more traditional masculine role in the relationship in today's day and age. Who is not a conservative? A man who wants to pay on the first date, who wants to open your door, who has that want and desire to take care of you and to provide, who is not a conservative. And obviously, as a liberal woman, I do want to be respected for my independence. And I do want to have my own autonomy in the relationship and not be confined or conform to the traditional female, homemaker, childbearing role. And most of the men that I've dated who do have that more natural provider masculinity about them are normally conservative. So I don't really know what to do because I don't want to compromise my morals and values just to find a man. But... Am I asking to have my cake and eat it too? You cannot on one side be a feminist and on the other side still hold men for their traditional part in the relationship. If you're asking men to be traditional, it is quite normal that men will ask you also to be traditional. Clearly men, stay away from women that want you to hold your side of the traditional roles, but she doesn't want to hold her side of the role. If you want the man to be a provider and a protector and risk his life, of course the man will require you to give him a legacy. That's the whole point of being in a relationship. Both of you are giving each other something that they cannot have on their own. Men and women are complementary. The fact that the man is paying for everything, the fact that the man is a gentleman, the fact that the man will die to protect you on one side, on the other side, you should be willing to make him a sandwich. You should be willing to have a family together. Otherwise, this is a totally unfair deal. On one side, the guy will pay for everything. And then you're going to do 50-50 on all of the chores, on all of the tasks of the house. How is that even fair? Guys, I went on a date this week and I felt the feminism leaving my body. I live on the east side of LA and if you don't know what that means, it's sort of like the artsier part of LA, you know, it's, it's people say it's like Brooklyn and New York. Like, so I go on dates with a lot of men and women who, you know, live over here. There's always a negotiation about who pays and that's great. I like to pay for people, all that. But what I will say is that I sort of fell into going on a date with the most guys guy I've ever been on a date with. And he's from West West, you know, Santa Monica. He's a bro, right? A guys guy is usually not my type. Like I cannot remember the last time that I went on a date with like a straight bros bro. You know what I'm saying? But it befell me. It befell me in an organic fashion. So I'm on this date with this guy. And the thing about a guys guy is he's putting his card down. He's paying for everything. And I really... Just, it sort of activated something feral in me. I'm not gonna lie. He went to like another bar and he went, he was gonna go to the bathroom. So I was getting prepared to pay for our drinks because he's been paying all night. Of course, I'm gonna pay for the next round. But as he's going to leave for the bathroom, he turns to me and he hands me his credit card. And he goes, here's my card, get us whatever. 
It might be time for me to get away from all these, you know, liberal snowflakes on the east side. Let me put it this way. Most women enjoy a masculine man. Most women like a man to be a provider and a protector. These are the qualities that have existed throughout history. And whatever we say about the evolution or the modern times, men and women are still wired the same way. We might know more about the human body, but fundamentally, we are attracted to the same things. And this is why men are always attracted to women in a certain age bracket that have a certain physique, because that's what it is wired in their brain. Similarly, women are attracted to men that can protect them, that can still be a provider. And even if a woman earns a lot of money, she can make 500k a year, she will still want a man that is at least, for using their words, at their level. So at least even or more in terms of income. Except that today, women are working. As a consequence of them earning more, their pool of men they can be attracted to reduces. But let's go back to the video. So she's interested in a man that is a masculine man, I guess very strong man, but that can also pay for everything. Pay attention to that. As a man, I always say, men should be able to be the provider of their family. And of course, you should be able, especially if you invite a woman into a date, pay for everything in my opinion. But you have to be careful who you invite as well. Because what tends to happen with a lot of these more woke or feminist women is that they will enjoy all the perks that you can give them, but they will not give anything back. Except sex, maybe. But ask her to make a sandwich. Ask her to have the house clean or let her invite you into your flat and prepare a meal for you. And this is where they are nowhere to be found. And similarly, ask them, what do you want for the future? It's very rare that they will mention family and kids. So at the end of the day, yes, you can ask a man to be traditional. Similarly, but you're not traditional. If you only enjoy one side of the traditional roles, you only enjoy the masculine side, great for you. But at the same time, as men, we should be requesting the feminine side of the traditional roles as well. And this is why more and more men today decide to stay away from feminist or woke women. Does he have to make as much as you or more? I would prefer someone that makes more. Because I, I like to be like wine and dine. Like you treated like, like a dine. princess. I don't drink actually, treated but like a I like I, I like being treated like a princess. I want to make my own money, but I want you to be able to take me out. Wait, so you're a princess and you've never So I make I have to make enough money to spoil myself and my dog. And then you know, that's number one, right? And then bills and etc. You're a princess. Yeah. But I I like hustling too. Like I love working. Have you ever paid for a guy on a date? I don't mind spending money on people, but I will friend zone them because I want my man to take care of me. Guys, way too many red flags. She prioritizes herself and her dog first. Stop spending money on women that are self-centered. That's for sure. A woman that only wants your money and she wants to work, obviously, and spend a lot of time hustling, as she stated then what's the point for you? Because you're not allowed any of that money. So she will be out of the house working for what? For herself? For her dog? Not even for you? Not even for your kids or your family? What's the point? You can see even the modern women will adopt this attitude where they want a man, obviously, that earn more money. If the man earns more money, then that's fine. I can understand this side of the hypergamy. She will only take as much as possible financially from the guy. It's clear that she doesn't want to hold her side of the traditional gender roles. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up and subscribe for more similar content. But it is great to observe that woke women 
do not date woke men or rarely and they do not take them seriously as stated by the lady previously any guy that wants to do 50 50 on the meals becomes a friend so the all of these guys will end up in the friend zone because they will do 50 50 and they will think that because of feminism it is totally fine to do 50 50 but actually women despise men that cannot pay for the whole meal so embracing the ideology of wokeness for women what are the consequences the issue is that push them to be emotionally unstable because they tend to be mostly single mostly without a man that can give them some type of emotional support and guidance a lot of them despise also looking good looking feminine so they will become very masculine women a lot of them have a huge sexual history as well and they will almost despise monogamy a lot of them will be calling about polygamy or any type of arrangement because they've had sex with so many people that it doesn't matter one or two or three more it doesn't really matter so what's the point of being monogamous and some of them sadly have giving up on men and they will state something like all men are trash or all men are bad but usually the ones that are stating this are the ones that are the most promiscuous they are the ones that are sleeping around the most so make it make sense if all men are trash why are you allowing men all men lots of men to sleep with you one article has been published and this article is called the dangerous rise of men who won't date work women and what is stating in the article is that there is a growing sentiment of men that refuse to date work women or feminist why is that because a lot of work women lack any type of common sense stating that a biological man can become a woman or even that it is totally fair for biological men to compete against women in sport even the policies that are advocated for example policies about that are racist literally that are pushing for quotas or gender quotas that are sexist against men and this is why most men refuse to date this type of woman because these women do not see the consequences of what they are advocating for it would be very interesting to see the figures in terms of the divorce rate of women that are feminist or that are woke that would be interesting to see these stats hold on there's another article that is actually very interesting is the five reasons why men should not be afraid to date woke women hold on the first one woke women will challenge them to become a better version of themselves woke women are not afraid to express their opinions and will push you to critically think um wokeness and critical thinking are opposites right being woke means not being able to critically think it's about virtual signaling so anything that is great to virtual signal they will be the first one when it comes to thinking about the second or third degree consequences of what they're advocating for they are nowhere to be found the second reason women are confident independent and self-assured yes this is the most important attribute for men to have an independent or self-assured women men are attracted to this type of women don't you know this is totally garbage men do not want a boss babe men do not want a leader men do not want a woman that will constantly challenge their authority or be independent no men are not attracted to this type of women so they can think that men are attracted to this but that will not turn this into a reality third reason work women are passionate about social justice yes they are but they do not think about the long-term consequences of what they are advocating for so of course they want short-term solution for long complex issues if you do not understand that any solution is a trade-off and you cannot assess the both sides of the trade-off 
then you have no place to suggest policies. Because at the end of the day, any type of policy has both bad and good consequences. But most woke people cannot even acknowledge that there's a trade-off to each policy. Fourth reason, woke women are open-minded and willing to engage in meaningful conversations. Uh, yes, if you go their way, usually they are fine. As soon as you start stepping away from the woke narrative, then they will start calling you names like misogynistic, sexist, racist, homophobic, transphobic, all of these type of words. If you exactly state the same type of narrative, then they will be just fine. They will be happy to have a conversation with you. But they are the same ones that are pushing the cancel culture, especially on the university campuses. They are shutting down any opposite voices. So no, they are not open-minded. They are not willing to engage in any type of meaningful conversations. And lastly, work women are not afraid to stand up for what they believe in and will always be honest and loyal. Loyalty is something that is very complicated to find and honesty is the same. But work women are not necessarily more honest than others. Yes, they will always try to stand up for what they believe in. That's very true. For example, advocating to remove the genitals of minors, that's still wrong. Giving puberty blockers, that's still wrong. Pushing for dangerous ideologies is still wrong. I would argue that if an older woman had told this younger lady or any younger lady that this is how boys see you, if you do that, you would act differently if someone had told you that. I think men do a much better job of checking each other mm. because men see themselves in younger men. Women see themselves as younger women. Mm. So a man... Bars. <laughs> She's good. You better, you better teach. Hey. It is very true that men are more honest with each other. Men will tend to tell each other the truth. So if a man, for example, is not working out or fat, their friends will just call him fat. If a man is not making money, they will call him broke. If a man is not doing anything with his life, they will call him lazy. But not only that, they will also give them realistic advice. Because men have to live in reality. They do not have a choice. They do not believe that somewhere, someone, a prince charming is coming. That's not in the reality of men. When women can be in their this impression for a long time until they are like 35, 40, or some of them are even 55, still believe that in prince charming coming to, to save them. But men, when you're like 20, 25 as a man, and you cannot find a job. You cannot find a girl because no girl wants to be with you because you're broke, because you're not physically in shape. The reality is there to be seen. Now, let's see why men do not want to date work women. So they gave six different reasons. First of all, work women do not lack any type of beauty standards. They are against beauty standards. So basically what men find attractive, they will go the opposite direction. If men find attractive women without hair, they will grow their hair. Men find attractive women that are feminine in their behavior, they will become masculine. If men find attractive women that can dress in a feminine fashion, they will do the opposite and dress masculine. Work women are doing the opposite. And of course, men are not attracted to that. That's for sure. Secondly, work women have a lack of understanding of consent. Back in the day, it was pretty clear. The consent was given during the wedding for the marriage. So if we are married together, consent is given. There you go. There's no issue. Everything is clear. Today, they are talking about consent lack. Someone is supposed to give almost a written consent before any type of sexual activity. But at the same time, they are the same ones that are pushing for unlimited access to sex, alcohol, 
or any type of drugs, how do you reconcile them? No one in their right mind will stop to write some type of consent or agree or ask explicit consent while kissing a woman or removing the bride. That's totally nonsense. That's a huge turnoff for both the men and the women. Thirdly, woke women dislike womanhood. This is just the continuation of feminism. Most feminists hate womanhood, hate motherhood. They do not like the ability of women to have children and spend time with them, giving up their work to spend time with their children, to have happy family is something that most feminists, not all of them, obviously, but most feminists hate. And this is why they will despise stay-at-home moms for the same reason. Because for them, if a woman is away from work, then they are giving up their chance to compete against men. And that's the whole point of feminism, competing against men. Instead of seeing men and women as complementary to each other. Number four, belonging to a cult, not an ideology. It is very true that wokeness looks like a cult. It seems that you cannot discuss the rules in the, in the cult. You cannot, you're not allowed to challenge the rules. You're not allowed to ask questions. What is a woman? Just this question is already triggering. If you haven't seen this documentary, What is a Woman? I strongly advise you to watch it. Number five, work ideology shares a lot of traits with the extreme right and the extreme left in terms of political parties. A lot of them are advocating for racist or sexist policies like affirmative actions that are very sexist and racist. A lot of them are pushing for ideas like BLM that are extremely dangerous. Typically, one of the policies advocated by BLM is against nuclear families. When all research on Earth have been advocating for nuclear families in order to have safe and sane children. And six, woke women still want masculine men. So it's interesting that, as we've seen in different videos, all of the women are still seeking the same type of men, masculine, dominant, provider, the protector. So it's interesting that whether they are woke, whether they are not woke, pretty much all women are seeking the same type of men, but themselves refuse to be the type of women that men are looking for. Finally, men and women are complementary. They are supposed to work wonderfully together. They are complementary in the way they think. They are complementary in the way they act. And this is why it's so important for men to embrace their masculine side and for women to embrace their feminine side. And that's the way they will at they attract each other because everything that opposes each other also attracts each other. And wokeness, especially woke women, are actually doing everything opposite to what men are looking for. So it's very clear that the trend is accelerating in terms of the difference between men and women. As you can clearly see on this graph, men are becoming more and more right-leaning, more traditional in the way they will approach things, in the way they will approach the world, especially the younger generation. And women are becoming more and more liberals in the way of embracing work ideologies in the way they approach, especially the younger generation. What is happening now and it's likely to accelerate in the future is that men will be much more conservative. Women are going to be much more liberals. How are you going to reconcile the two of them? I guess what will happen is that because all the women are looking for the same type of men, if 100% of the women are looking for 10% of men or 5% of men, who has the leverage? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me tell you, it will be the men. 
the five, the top 5% or top 10% of men will have the leverage. So it will be up to these men to select the women that they want, not up to the women, because there will be much more women demanding that type of men, that men that can be at the level that all of these women are looking for. As a man, you have to pay attention to who you're spending time with, who you decide to include in your life, who you want to make your wife. It is so critical for a man to judge a woman on what she does, not what she says. And for that, I have an amazing video here that will show you exactly how to judge a woman based on her actions, not on her words. Amazing.